hi welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you to my return subscribers and thank you to those that are new here um you're more than welcome so we're going to get into this reading today and see where your energy is at this time um what spirit wants to tell you um what's coming in for you so just put your energy into what is on your mind right now what you want to know let's see oh we have wild rose fairy and love okay so love could be on your mind right now now this could be love for a platonic kind of relationship or it could be um a love connection it could be a lot of passion that kind of thing so it feels like love is on your mind right now um roses especially wild roses might be significant to you perhaps you have a wild rose growing in your garden um something about those rose hips as well perhaps you're seeing a lot of rose hips coming through um but there is a new beginning. I just saw the Ace of Wands. So I was sorting these cards out. That one just popped out on there. You've had a new idea, maybe in the idea of love in connections. So let's see what runes we have for you on this. Thor is as. So this is like a time for maybe if something's been a bit defensive recently, it's time for taking action. Eros is a rune of relationships as well. So yeah, taking action on a relationship. Now, part of this is actually you have taken action on building the relationship with yourself first, which is very important with any relationship. And Gebo, that's really interesting. This is definitely about love. Whoever this is for, this energy is all about um, the gift of love. This is also known as the kissing rune. You know, when we write on cards and we do a little cross, that's Gebo. It's a kissing rune. Um, so there feels like there's a lot of love and passion. Um, perhaps you are about to ask somebody out on a date or you're about to go out on a date yourself. Um, or you're just feeling the love, perhaps if you've just met somebody. So let's get into the cards and what is this current situation regarding love? For you at this time. Oh, what are you? Okay, so four of swords. So you may have given up hope a little bit on love, perhaps, or feeling a little bit exhausted by it, or a bit depleted by it. Maybe you've had your heart broken many times, and you're just feeling a little bit like, you know, it's getting a little bit heavy, a little bit much. What was that one? But then some message has occurred. Maybe this is a message somebody sent to you um, or you've taken the gamble to send a message to somebody else. Now let's see what this is about. So what is this message all about? But this information, you've received something, some kind of communication here. Okay, let's see. It feels like it's something where you felt all was lost. Yeah, there's something about something from the past and like something um, to do with regret. So this could be where somebody regrets how they treated you or spoke to you. Or maybe this is how you feel about somebody else. But this is some kind of message about that. Maybe it's an apology that you've received recently or that you've given recently. And it's talking about how somebody felt a little bit blindfolded or maybe at a crossroads, maybe confused, didn't know which way to turn. Um, feeling blocked in what direction to take. <laughs> that Ace of Wands is definitely wanting to come out in this reading. So, but now someone has had an awakening. It's almost like their intuition has been switched on as to what direction to take. And they've had almost like they've changed their brain waves in a way. Perhaps you've done something different here to realise something new. And this is starting to give you new ideas, new ambitions, new ways of being. So it's almost like where something um, felt like it was a non-starter or wasn't going to take off. There's been a change to that, a sudden change. And this change is kind of like blown everything out of the water. It's affected everything. It's making everything just that little bit better, you know. So how is it changing? Okay, it's changing because somebody has decided to put attention into this, pay attention to it and work at it. So perhaps this is someone is maybe here regretting actions from the past 
and wanting to put things right, wanting to make a difference here and really sort of um, concentrating on that. It's interesting because she's staring at that candle there, um, which is like Chitaka, which is a meditation where you candle gaze. So I feel like somebody has been doing a lot of gazing lately, maybe just sat there like gazing into space, gazing into things. And it's kind of allowed these thoughts to come through. It's allowed someone to realize what they want, what needs to happen. Okay, that's interesting. So we've had these three cards come out all together that just literally went out like this. So there is a transformation going on here and it's someone has realized about something that's been intoxicating, something that's been holding them chained almost and the burdens that they've been carrying over that. But now they've kind of looked within and seen that there is an opportunity for change here. There's an opportunity to transform that. And the transformation has come from unconditional love, a realisation of what unconditional love is. Um, and that's actually inspired more creative thoughts, more creative flow within this connection. This is really nice. Feels really, really good. There's an anxious feeling to this though. An anxious feeling like someone is perhaps, there's been that little bit of defensive energy even though someone's been defensive about this and maybe keeping a bit of a strong boundary with it, there's also a knowledge of there needs to be action on this as well. There needs, someone needs to take action on this in order to repair something. So we have the King of Swords in the reverse position. So there's still, there may be somebody being a little bit stubborn at times. Um, now that stubbornness can hold back communication, can hold back an ability to move forward and an ability to show emotion emotionally um, how somebody's feeling. Okay. So what advice do we have for you on this? Okay. So the advice here is still be a little bit cautious. Um, even though it feels like you know things are changing here and it feels like there's a lot of love to do with this, there's a still a need to take things slowly, stay in your lane, stay in your energy, um, don't jump to conclusions, don't jump too far ahead. There is a little bit of being aware of, um, what's the word I was going to say then? Sorry, a message just came up on there and it's weird, that said yes available on there. Now, maybe this is you're available but perhaps you're just keeping a boundary with how available you make yourself how available you allow yourself to be so there still needs to be a boundary with that but make sure it's boundary and not defensiveness because there is this energy of somebody wanting to rush straight in there is going to be more communication coming in um somebody does want or perhaps maybe in the past this connection has rushed in and there's a need to slow things down. So is there any other advice I could give you on here? Yeah, the chariot in reverse, slowing it right down. Um, there is not a need for haste here. And if it goes too fast, too soon, then it's not going to lead to the desired outcome. Okay. So what else can we tell you? There is an element of vulnerability with this as well. So a feeling of maybe this is why you need to keep a defence up around this. Um, because there is a need to be vulnerable, but not expose so much that you feel too vulnerable, that you feel um, that you're not safe. You know, the energy needs to be held, to be contained in order to feel nurtured. And if that feeling of being nurtured isn't there, then be careful. Okay, but there is power within this connection. It feels like you're working towards something that is very grounding, very powerful. Um, it contains, it feels more like the energy of um, whoever the masculine is within this connection is the one that's the driving force of this. So if that's you, then obviously that's yourself. Um, you may be having some realizations. Um, 
releasing some burdens, releasing some um, chains that have been holding you back, that kind of thing, but still needing a little bit of boundary and slowing things down so that you can stand in your power and feel like you're in control of situations. Again, because we've got that on there, there's there is this energy of somebody wanting to rush straight in, make a hasty decision, but this needs to be pulled back a little bit. Purely because there's an energy of um, someone who's very confident, confident in what they want, what they need. Um, there's a lot of sexual energy with this as well. So the passionate side of things can go quite fast, but there is a need to gain balance, allow that balance of giving and receiving. So no, making sure that everybody knows where they're at with this. Everybody's needs are being met. Okay. Let's see what your outcome is in this situation here. <laughs> the sun. So your outcome is very, very positive. This is inspirational joy. It's it, Keep it fun. Keep it lighthearted and fun. Um, because you're manifesting something here that is, seems very, very important to you. And it seems like the importance is on that love and support, um, especially like emotionally intelligent connection. Um, so it's a very positive, very positive reading this is. But it all starts with, you know, that kind of feeling of needing nurturing, needing that, needing that nurture on there. And the Knight of Wands, so there's, I feel like you inspire each other and you... There's a need for a little bit more enthusiasm, but slowing down in some aspects and some areas. Okay. Otherwise, what happens is I feel like one or both of you will pull back emotionally and that can make the other one anxious, potentially. Yeah, so just let go. Go with the flow. Don't hold back. Just allow things to flow and unfold naturally. Um that is the energy that I'm getting from this. Let's see if we've got anything else for you on here. Okay, yeah, so there's a want to, I do feel that there's something about, maybe this is a previous connection um, or somebody that you know already and there's been some kind of, what I'm feeling from this is maybe this is somebody that you've perhaps been out on a date with or a couple of dates or you've only just really been chatting with and somebody wants to come in and sort of say how they're feeling I may want to apologise for perhaps not being present or something like that. Um, but somebody's had to work through a lot of things. You know, they've had to work through this breaking of some chains and the burden that they're feeling, you know, in order to make that sudden change happen and to allow for transformation. You know, somebody wants that kind of energy and they want a rebirth. And I feel that's happening right now. This particular connection, though, it is going to need work. Bear with it. It is going to require work, um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. This isn't, I'm not talking about sort of like, you know, a relationship that becomes a project or you're trying to fix anything. This is more about just understanding that giving and receiving. This is going to help you grow in yourself as well as anything else. But this is a decision I feel that you've already kind of made. You already know and believe what you feel your future will hold if you stay aligned with this decision that you've made. So if this resonates with you and you want to know more, then please do get in touch for a personalised reading. My details are down in the description box and um, yes, I'll speak to you all very soon. Have a blessed day.